Hello. We're talking about the impact of uh, accounting transactions on financial analysis, meaning ratios. And we're looking at ratios that have to do with profitability, net income and earnings per share, uh, liquidity, which are your current ratio and your working capital, and also solvency, which is debt to equity or debt to worth, which is total liabilities over total shareholders' equity. So we're going to look at a potpourri of things that have to do with customers. Uh, and in the first one, uh, we are the customer and we're returning the inventory. In other words, we say, I don't want this. And if we don't want it anymore and we bought it on account, that means that I'm debiting accounts payable and I'm going to credit inventory because I've returned the inventory, don't want it anymore. Now, accounts payable is a current liability, isn't it? So current liabilities are decreasing because I'm debiting them. And inventory is a current asset, so current assets are in decreasing because I returned it. So both of them are going down by the same amount. So notice I said nothing about revenues or expenses, so no impact on net income or earnings per share. When I look at the current ratio, because the liabilities are going down, because the current assets are going down, the same amount, what it does is it makes your current ratio go up. Again, because the proportionality changes. Working capital, though, because you're tr both assets and liabilities are going down by the same amount and we're subtracting one from the other, there's no change. When I look at debt to equity, because liabilities current liabilities or any liabilities are going down. That means our numerators get smaller, st uh, denominator stays the same, so the debt to equity ratio decreases. Let's try this one. A customer has done you wrong and you have to write them off as a bad debt. You'll remember, though, that we've made a previous adjusting journal entry to set up an allowance for bad debts or doubtful accounts or uncollectible accounts. And that allowance account has a credit balance because it's a contra asset account. So we have this pool of, I know someone's going to do me wrong, I know I've estimated it, and here's someone who actually did do us wrong. So when we write off, we always debit the allowance account and we credit accounts receivable. So the allowance account is getting smaller, my accounts receivable is getting smaller, and both of these are current assets. So in effect, am I just trading one current asset for another? In other words, there's no impact on current assets because they're, they wash each other out. Well, because these are both current assets, there's no impact on the net income or earnings per share, and because one current asset offsets another current asset, there's no impact on the current ratio, working capital. Since they're all assets, no impact on debt to equity. Isn't that fun? So it didn't do anything to our ratio analysis, but it made you think you were going to, didn't it? And finally, what if we recover a bad debt? In other words, someone we've written off as ne we're never going to see another dollar from them again, suddenly pays us something, the first thing we have to do is we have to put them back on our books. Because remember, they're off our books here. We, we, they no longer exist anywhere in our accounting records. So the first thing we have to do is to reverse that. So we're going to debit accounts receivable, and we're going to credit the allowance. So both current assets um, offset each other again. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to debit cash, because I'm going to get their money. You know, I'm not going to put them back on my books until I see the money. And I'm going to credit accounts receivable, just like I do whenever I collect from any customer. So notice this is a trade of one current asset for another current asset. So are all of these just switching current assets and they, what, offset each other, don't they? So as far as what does the recovery of bad debts do to your ratio analysis? Nothing. There's no impact on net income.
There's no impact on earnings per share. There's no impact on current ratio, working capital, or debt to equity. But you thought there was going to be because wasn't there a lot of work here? So that's a summation of some of the ratios and their, what happens to them from transactions. Thank you.